Hello, I'm about to go to sleep. I can say hello to my PJs. Uh, but today is the day when I'm going to apply some Kojic Acid on my face. I thought just to do the cream, but then I might as well do a soap and show you how to use it. Kojic Acid is a byproduct of the um, process of fermentation of rice, which is used to produce Japanese sake. So it's all natural. It works uh, to lighten the skin by inhabiting the production of melanin. And what it really means is that every cell of our body uh, keeps um, pu pushing through melanin, especially when we are exposed to sun. However, kojic acid comes in and uh, stops. I think it um, takes away the oxygen from that process, so the cells cannot produce more melanin. Therefore, if we use kojic acid on a regular basis, uh, it whitens the skin because it just stops our skin to produce the melanin. Okay, I've washed my face now. I think in the video I showed it to you for the first time, I lied to you because I told you that this is with papaya, but now when I look at it, it actually doesn't contain papaya. It's um, This is exactly what I have. I'm sorry, it's already kind of not very clear. The soap is very soft, so I can just grab like between my fingers and just pull a little bit. This is probably much. Okay, so that's, that's a lot already. I just uh, make my hand wet and with the other hand I make a foam. Now when I have a nice foam I start to apply on the face. I usually leave it for five minutes or so. If this is the first time ever you're using the soap then I would just leave it for a couple of minutes um, just to see how you react to it because you never know. I apply the soap maybe three times a week uh, but if you want to get rid of discoloration fast uh, you can try it every day you can do it twice a day even I know some people who do it okay I got to the point where I just don't have any more moisture look I have no foam so I'm just gonna leave it uh, like this on my face until my timer runs out the first result after applying it can be seen uh, after few days and this is not because it eats away the existing melanin but it stops the new one from being produced so you just basically have to have to wait the time for your body to break down the existing melanin. My timer is up. Now the freaky bit is that this is now like gone. It disappears. So yeah when I will be washing off now <laughs> it will actually have hardly any soap on it which is freaking me out a little bit because it means my skin just ate the soap away. Okay, I'm washed and dried. Now I just follow with my regular evening routine. Remember that the soap can make your skin a little bit drier than normally. This is the point that you can start seeing some itching or, I don't know, redness if you have a very sensitive skin. So don't freak out, just wait a few minutes. It should go down. If I use the soap for a few days in a row, like four or five days in a row. I can feel like tiny rash on my skin so I know that I cannot use it every day. Normally I would use soap or the cream but today just for you I'm gonna use both. This is the Yoko cream the one I'm using for my discolorations and to open it. Creams are normally stronger than soap have more concentrated acid that much is enough and then I uh, only do it selectively on some discolorations after the spots so this is one of these I also like to put it on that one mole that I have it does lighten it and then whenever I have freckles if I have any I apply here and here mm. For the cream, I see a visible, visible difference within three days. Even the next day I can already see it, but within three days it's like really, really visible. And I have exactly the same thing as with the soap, that if I use it for a few days in a row, like four or five days, then I have a little lumps uh, coming in and I know I have to stop using it. I think that's everything I wanted to mention. If I forgot something, I'll try to <laughs> write in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was helpful and see you later. Bye.